A weekend long trip covering 1,100 miles and a lot of different temperature variations. And one jacket handled it all. Stick around, I'm gonna to talk to you about it. What's up? Jim here. Welcome back to J Street Moto. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time. I'm finishing up a weekend long trip for it at about 1,100 miles. The only jacket I took with me on the trip was First Manufacturing's Vendetta motorcycle jacket. That's the one I'm wearing right now. I'm, you know, maybe 15, 20 minutes from home, so I pulled over and figured, let me make a video and kind of tell y'all what I think after putting this jacket through its paces a little bit for real. Because, you know, I've had it for a couple months now, but it hasn't been real cold in the Charlotte area. And really haven't, I've used it a couple times, but haven't been able to really like test it out, test it out. This weekend was interesting because basically it's the first weekend in November here in the Charlotte metro area. It starts to get cold or cooler around here this time of the year. It's especially going to be cool when you start going places like Maryland and Northern Virginia, because you're up in the mountains, especially where I was at in Maryland, the western side of the state kind of in the mountains you're at a higher elevation and well there gets to be it gets to be a little cooler there this weekend i was in temperatures as high as like i think we'll call it 80 degrees 79 80 degrees and in temperatures as cool as the low 30s so think 33 to 35 and I was riding at those temperatures. That wasn't the temperatures where I was just hanging out. I was riding at those temperatures. And for the most part, I was riding at highway speeds at those temperatures, just to give you all a kind of a point of reference. So, you know, 70, 80 miles an hour at when it's 35 degrees outside, is cold. That, that, that's going to be colder than, you know, just standing around in it. Now, I was riding at highway speed, so I was going 75, 80 miles an hour at the cold and the really hot temperatures. And uh, I got to tell you, the jacket has impressed me. I, and I don't impress easily, but I swear to you, this jacket here is probably one of the most versatile jackets I've ever owned. It handled every single temperature and everything in between it that was thrown at it this weekend and it handled it with style and kept me comfortable this morning when i left uh where i left where i stayed last night it was 33 degrees and i had about 40 miles to go to meet up with the person that i was gonna ride back home with i left the house with uh the jacket with the liner in it i had two long sleeve t-shirts and a sweatshirt underneath it i always layer up anyway Let's talk about that first, sizing. I bought this jacket based off the size that the measurements that I took at the website, recommended website says based on your measurement, here's the size you need. I bought the jacket based on that information. And it is true to size. And it also gave me enough room that I could probably put a couple of other layers under here, which I will need if I was gonna use it to go sub-freezing temperatures. Think like down into the 20s. I probably only need a couple, I'll probably only need another t-shirt. And maybe a, you know, maybe instead of a long sleeve t-shirt, a, a long underwear t-shirt. And all of it fit under here comfortably. I didn't feel like I was the little kid from a Christmas story, you know, the, ooh. I didn't feel like that. I was very comfortable. My mobility was not in, affected in any way, shape or form. And it, it kept me comfortable. It kept my core comfortable. I don't like being hot, but I also don't like being cold. I like to be just kind of neutral state. And this did a perfect job of doing that. That was the cold temperature this morning. And that was the, the sizing. Uh, when I left to come up, to go up where we were going this weekend, um, it was cool in the morning. So I left. The jacket was, it had a liner in it. Uh, I had a sweatshirt and I had a short sleeve t-shirt on underneath it. And it was probably 44 degrees when I left my house Friday morning. That kept me plenty warm. 
When we stopped for lunch, I pulled out the liner and took off the sweatshirt because it was getting into the 60s. And I wasn't hot. Let me let me classify this. I didn't take all that stuff off because I was uncomfortable when I was riding. I just figured, you know, I probably could shed a couple of layers and still be comfortable. I was trying to see, you know, trying to get an understanding of what I needed to do to this jacket to use it at different temperature ranges. And so I did that. I was extremely comfortable with just the jacket and no liner in it and just a short sleeve t-shirt underneath it. Got a little bit warmer that day, got up into kind of the mid 70s. And as it did, I opened the vents and I was fine. I probably could have gotten away with not opening the vents, but I opened them anyway, just to see how they, how well the air flowed through the jacket and whether or not it impacted how I felt wearing the jacket. The answer to that question is it does impact it. You do feel air going in. It does not blow up like a pillow because you have a vent in the back, but it does allow air to flow through the jacket and it kept me more comfortable. Not that I was uncomfortable, but it kept me more comfortable. Certainly, when it hit up close to 80, I did wear the jacket. I normally wouldn't. At that point, I normally would just have like a t-shirt on. Uh, but I did put the jacket on with the vents open, and I was still comfortable. I'm impressed with it. It literally handled everything. I, I, I could, I, I've got, I don't have enough words, good words to say about this jacket. I really don't. Now, I will say this. This is not going to be my official review of the jacket mainly because I haven't owned it long enough. I, I wanna, I'm gonna give a full review of it, like full review, after I've had it for about a year and been exposing it to riding for about a year. Because I wanna make sure that it holds up, that it, that it made well enough to you know, not start falling apart two months from now, or doesn't have issues and stuff. So I'm at least gonna get through this winter riding season. I do ride year round and uh, we're coming into the part of the year where I'm pretty much going to have to wear this thing every day, every time I get on the bike, I should say. And so that'll be a good test for how well it holds up to the, the, the elements, so to speak. So I'll do a more detailed review uh, covering that aspect of the jacket after a little more time has gone by. But for now, I'm very happy with the purchase decision I made to buy this oh, to buy this coat. I really am. It, it is. I hate to say that it's better than the one that I had that I had to retire because you know there's a special place in my heart for that jacket. But I will say it's way more versatile. There's another thing I can say based on what I experienced this weekend with this jacket. Um, I tend to be a person that when I buy gear, I buy, I buy gear for a very specific purpose. So in other words, I'm going to buy a riding jacket that is going to keep me warm in the coldest temperatures that I'm gonna ride in. This is the first time I've kind of branched out and gotten something that can serve multiple purposes. And I was a little uh, leery of that. I will say this, this is probably not the best jacket at keeping you cool when it's warm outside if you want to wear a jacket when it's hot. It's probably not the best product on the market to keep you warm when it's really cold. But if you're looking for something that's very good at being able to keep you cool when it's warm and keep you comfortable when it's cold, so far this jacket is ticking all those boxes. So it's not gonna be, it's not, it's not made for a specialty. It's made to be able to serve multiple purposes. And in that regard, it does very well. First Manufacturing is not sponsoring this video. I bought this jacket with my own money. It was the decision that I made based on research and I spent my own money on it. I'm reviewing it because I'm sure if you're watching this channel, you also ride and maybe you are looking to extend your riding season and ride when it's a little cooler and you need a coat. You need to understand what products are available. That's why I'm making this video. And I will put links to the jacket where you can buy it in the video. I don't get anything for it if you click that link. It just makes it easier for you and you don't have to go Google it yourself. But yeah, the first manufacturing vendetta jacket so far 
it's been the most versatile jacket I've ever owned or used on a motorcycle. It really is. It 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 carried me for a weekend in every imaginable temperature for this time of year, and I could wear it the entire time, and I was comfortable. I'm really digging the jacket. I really am. I'm finishing up. I think today's ride was right around 400 and. 40 miles. When I started out this morning, it was cold, and I haven't been hot or cold this whole day while I was riding. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you. Hope you come back and check out more content. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share it with your friends. All that stuff is free to you, and it does help the channel. Always ride safe. Yeah, ready? One, two, three, shoot. Ah. Asshole. Really? <laughs> Peace out, bitches! <laughs>